Hello everybody, it's Els, Elizabeth Craft Designs. It is Monday. I don't the twenty the thirtieth. Last day of the month. I see myself. Let's put the comments on. And we are ready to roll. I put that away. I left my display as I posted it in the picture because I love the display. <laughs> but I'm going to work with it, so <laughs> I need to uh, kind of uh, organize, like, you know, put it away. Let me see. I Yeah, comments are on. Hi, Angela, Debbie, 16 others, Kathy, Marion, Kostwinder, Jole van Berkem. Hi, everybody. Uh, it's nice to be here. I'm super excited about this one. I had lots of fun just... Uh, you know, cutting pieces, because that's uh, in, in this one, uh, you just sit down and cut pieces and then you have lots of stuff to play with, which is uh, great. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Lisbeth. Leo, Agnita and Agnita Hecker. Probably only Anita. Agnita, sorry. Uh, Jonah, Tony, Yannick. Hi, everybody. Uh, Ans is here. Uh, please like, comment and share this video with your friends with your crafty friends hi sue uh i hope your brother is doing okay sue and um everybody i hope you're safe and healthy and had a wonderful thanksgiving weekend although it is different than normal for sure hi anita um so what i'm going to do i'm going to work with uh basically two dies uh these two so those are the ones uh from uh suzanne suzanne cannon and uh, anna will put the link in there uh, so it's the build a wreath and this one is, oh, I don't know the name. Oh, no, I'll put the link in there. So um, two dies from Suzanne Kenner from the new release. And uh, before I forget to say, I need to announce two winners. Uh, from Wednesday, it is Ma Mary Trickett. I don't know if we announced it on Friday. That's why I'm repeating it because Friday was uh, another day. Hi, Honora, Daniela and uh, Diane. Hi, everybody. And um, from Friday, the winner is Erin Stewart. So we have two winners from Wednesday, Mary Trickett. So Mary, if you, but I think we announced it, but I don't know for sure. So just better twice than not at all. And then from Friday, it was Erin Stewart. Hi, everybody. Thank you all for joining. Hi, Lisanne, Marije, Petra. And um, so what I'm going, so you see what I did. So I created all these pieces and I'm going to show you a little bit what I did uh, uh, with those. Um, and then I created an ornament last night. And I had so much fun creating that. I'm going to bring it closer. Let's see if that works. Here we go. You see? So the small poinsettia, the greenery. Here, the branch here. You see? So that's what I did. And this is an ornament for myself. And uh, because I'm very traditional that way. It's all red and green and gold. And... Uh, um, so I really want to decorate like a few that I have a few of these pieces to hang in my tree this year. And I am uh, I use the kids glue to glue it because that's what I had at home. And it's actually, it's really sturdy. It's really, it's it looks really well. Like I, that's not coming off for sure. So uh, my tree will have a few of these in there for sure. Um, let's see. Hi, Kathleen, Wilma. Hi, everybody. Focalina. Uh, congrats winners. Thank you, Sue. Yeah, congrats winners. So congrats, Mary and Erin. So a $50 gift certificate and you have a chance to win one as well. Uh, if you like, comment and share. Okay, so I have some, uh, you see, I created some already. And what I did, because we still have the sale on, of course, don't forget to check it out because there's some really, really nice uh, things in there. For instance, this one is in there. That is from the uh, Sidekick Collection. And that's the little gift card envelope. Here I have a gift card in here because I want to decorate one of those. And if you, this is one of my like favorites here, you see? That is such a fantastic. And nowadays, you know, gift cards are just because we don't go to stores. So gift cards is a great way to kind of send something that they can pick out later when they can go to the store. And then this one, I thought that would be, so I'm going to decorate this one with something uh, from that same line. So that's the same envelope. Uh, then I had a slim, I have a slim line card that I want to decorate, but of course I'm going to start with the ornaments and the elements because this one is from the collection from Charlene and Ilse. I did that earlier, but I never got to decorating it. 
and I thought this would be, you see, with this collection, you can see already that will be really, really nice for a uh, slimline card as well. You see, uh, you can just see that happening. It's such, those dies, those two dies from Suzanne are so fantastic to play with. And that's basically uh, what you do. And uh, honestly, just doing this, I had my, uh, last night, I had my small, um, my small big, uh, my small big, should I say, the, 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 the small one, the tiny one. I don't know how it's called now. But, uh, oh, sidekick, sidekick. I had that uh, upstairs and I was just turning like uh, the cardstock and just making all those elements. And that is just, you know, fun to do and very relaxing. So let me put that ornament aside. I'm going to find something. Oh, here. I have tape. I'm going to put it in here that it doesn't roll away. <laughs> so that's that one. And then I want to decorate this one. So I'm going to put these elements. Oh, I have the bow here. I cut that here. Done. Rhinestone here. Small poinsettia maybe. So I cut those several times. It's from the same collection. So I'm going to spread these out here. And then I'm going to start. So what's on sale as well are the craft drops. You can actually, and I honestly think, you know, Mark was gone for a few days. But um, I thought, well, that's a, that's a mistake. Because they put this on for a fantastic sale. I think all six colors for never seven ninety five. So honestly, I think that's costing us money. But uh, you know, <laughs> you know, that's a gift then. That's a gift. But uh, so the craft drops. So buy the full set now because it's really it's like it's amazing. It's an amazing deal. An amazing deal. Um, so what I did is because I made a shine on the flowers, you see, and I didn't use that before, but I just used the craft drops. And it's really, really pretty, you see? So it just gives a shine. So what I did is, here I have all those pieces cut. So I just do a few to show you. Oh, let's do a large one then as well. Here I did the leaf. Here. So basically what you do, you take your craft drops. And now I get dirty fingers right away. I just clean them up. And it's so dry here at the moment. So it's uh, like my hands like look horrible. So just this. That's all it is. And then you get a really nice shine on your cardstock. And a gold shine in this case. So you get gold or silver or the red or the green. Especially, of course, the metallics for this case work really well. So just rub it on there. And it dries quickly. I say it dries right away. So you need to be quick. So uh, that's why I do like small dots here. And then I just keep... Um, Keep adding it, but it's uh, it's really really quickly. And I think oh by the way the sale ends tonight, and you need to be a little bit patient for shipping because it's been a very busy weekend, and the girls at the warehouse were off as well, of course. So um, it might take a little bit more, but I know they're working very hard to get everything out. You see, so now you have those pieces with that shine on there. You see, and that just looks really, really pretty. So that's that. So very quickly to give like a nice shine. And then what I did with one, I just tried it here. Let me show you that right away. Bring in my tray here. Because I thought, let's try embossing powder on the side. That's not what I did with the ornaments. But it is what I did with this piece, and I really liked it, how that came out. Here, so I'm going to make, you see? So that's the gold shine, and then some embossing powder on the side. Okay, let's see what I all miss. Oh, okay, uh, I adore them today. I don't know what you enjoy, <laughs> adore, enjoy. I am uh, missing a lot of comments, as always, as always. Uh, yeah, I love to shout. Yeah, it's the easiest way uh, to do this. It's so super easy to do. So it's, um, yeah, and then I take my, uh, I showed it last week, my Emboss It Deber Clear from Ranger. So I just do the edges, and in this case, I will do it with the flowers as well, and just see how that turns out, because we're here to play. So um, let's just go for it. So I'm just going to go around here as well, so I have the shine and then the, um, the embossing powder on the edge. I think I'm around now. And that, that will not dry right away, so I can do, I think I can do. I don't even, I didn't dab really, so I, but I think stuff is coming out, but I actually don't know for sure. Okay, let's see. We dip this in. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. 
And then uh, Sansa, what it does, it's uh, if I, oh, you see, I dabbed even too much. So what I do, I just kind of dab with my finger because I don't want a straight line. So I kind of want to have it like more playful. So just dab a little bit so that you don't have it everywhere. And no straight lines. I don't like the straight lines. So then I kind of go back in and just do this. Oh, you know what I've been doing as well this weekend? Watercoloring on the, on the glitter, what Joseph did last week. Or the week before already, I think. I'm coming back to that next week because we have fun. I have some fun things that I want to share then. But Okay, that's that. Let me put this away on a little piece of paper here. And then I'm going to put this away so can, I can emboss these. Let's go back in here. Organize, organize else. Oh yeah, Angel is here. Yeah, we have we have great sales. If you didn't take a look yet, it's uh, some things are really, because that's just end of line. So uh, where did I leave my, oh, here. So when it's gone, it's gone. But the, uh, and I think the craft drops as well, by the way, when it's gone, it's gone. That's probably why it's so cheap. But, um, it's actually Angel that's there that might have done that. No, I don't know. <laughs> I'm blaming you, Angel. No. People will be thankful for it. Yeah, that is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, here it is. You see, so now you have that shine from the gold and that mixed with the embossing powder. It actually looks really pretty, I have to say. Oh, yeah, Angelique. Yeah, that's true. I, I know you were looking for that snowflake, Angelique. Uh, I don't know if that's uh, organized. Otherwise, I could back to you about it. But, uh, yeah, the thing is when we started, uh, you know, it's uh, not everything is in Europe. But all the new things are. But the existing stuff... We didn't ship all there because our warehouse is not that big there. But um, because the band who ships, he will uh, if he ship everything there, he will be very, very upset. <laughs> because he cannot store it all. But uh, but from now on, like everything that we have here. Yeah, Angel, I, I, is, do I blame it on you, Angel, that the discount on the craft drops are so high? <laughs> that could well be. Or it's just Mark. That, that kind of talked about it with uh, Angel. Okay, so I'm going to make this one with the... I'm sorry. With the... Um, with the embossing powder and the gold craft drops. Yeah, Angelique, if I would go uh, on the airplane uh, today, I would take uh, what you were missing with me. But... Uh, as far as it looks right now, I don't know exactly where I'm coming. But if you notice that I'm coming, Angelique, and you still don't have what you're looking for, you know, I can take a few things. Not a whole warehouse, by the way. Not a whole warehouse. Don't send me, like, I don't know how many uh, <laughs> requests. Oh, a thinner brush here. Just push it. Oh, I push through. I push through. Don't push it too hard, else. But there's going to be a craft drop there anyway, so that's fine. And that's what I do, to just, you know, shape it a bit. And the rest you can do with your fingers as well, kind of, you know, just wiggle it around like this. Oops. And then even when I glue it together, I can do more, of course. Okay. I think that's going to be pretty. Then I'm taking my uh, Kids' Choice glue. Just do a dab here. And this needs to dry for a little bit, but I can work with it. So I just add that one. And so now I see that I might, you know, I might like it better with just, and I will take two other ones, with just the gold embossing powder on the, um, but that's why we play, uh, with the gold embossing powder on the, um, on the bottom leaf. And you know with poinsettias, basically everything is leaves, eh? Everything is leaves, so turn that... You see, so now I will make quickly, I make another one as well. And then we'll see what I like best. And this one I can put a, uh, well, because it's so gold already with that one, maybe I put a, um, two, 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 two. I have a, hmm, <laughs> that might be nice. Just a white rhinestone in there or a pearl. You can also do a pearl in there, but 
with this one maybe this is nice otherwise getting two golds do, 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 do. okay so i'm going to make this you see so that's pretty gold compared to this one you see so i might like this better but i like the embossing powder there so i'm going to try one more that i so that's here i have the gold plus the embossing powder but i have the flower here just with the gold craft drop so i'm going to put that one together and then we can vote what we like best and then i have all kind of stuff that i can start building my ornaments but honestly so that's what i really like to do like uh just cut your pieces and then you have that ready for cards for the gift card envelope for the ornaments i had a little um like a little jar as well that i thought oh on the top of a jar if you like a you know if you do homemade jam i know a lot of people do that here uh homemade jam and then um do um uh, put it on the top of the jar of the homemade jam that will be really nice as well okay so oh i see why i pushed through this this uh brush has a really tip on the ends that one oh you see i pushed through right away you see this one has a tip wrong wrong brush else but again you won't see it when you put it together so just and i can bend this a little bit so let's see how this one looks I think I might like that better, that it shows more of the red from the poinsettia. Am I in trouble, Diane? Am I am in trouble. <laughs> oh, we need the ECD spoon. <laughs> I, I, I know. I hope Yoop is watching because that would be Yoop's, uh, Yoop's job <laughs> to search for that. I hear the neighbor's radio again. I think I like this better. Let's see. And just a little push. Let's see if I have... Oh, this one has a rounder. Uh. You see what I do then? Kind of basically just lift it up a bit like this. And I can do that better, of course, when it's dry. Twist it. That is good. Here, okay. And then with this one, I will do a... Uh, like a craft drop in the center. And the, actually the flower comes with the center as well, but uh, I like this effect. Okay, yeah, I like that better. I like the better. You see, I like that it has the... Yeah, you see. But about what do you, which one do you like better, the gold or the red? And honestly, you don't offend me either way. <laughs> yeah. You see, so the I yeah, I personally like the red better, although that has really some charm as well. Or combine it, that's also nice. Combine it. Okay, so do, I, now I want to make uh, one or two small poinsettias. Put that together quickly. Uh, and I rubbed, so you see I rubbed some with that uh, gold already. And in this one I will leave the embossing powder off. I need one more small one. See, so it's basically ready to go. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do one leaf with the embossing powder and one without. Then um, I have, like, things to play with. Red, red. Yeah, I see red. Yeah. Okay. I think, uh, yeah. If you see it in real, it actually looks nice, but I, like, I personally like the red better. But that, of course, is personal. Okay, I'm going to dip this a little bit again. And then quickly emboss this one. So I'm only going to do the leaf. Get my tool out. And of course, don't forget we have the December day by day uh, for the planner essentials. And now we have also, that starts tomorrow, uh, the journal Your December. And I, um, here, let me show you. No, that's not it. Oh, I have it. Oh, no, here it is. I want to see. So that's from uh, Ilse and Chalene with the new line. And uh, for the people that followed it, we already had something happening um, this weekend. They did a special, like a course. But this is Journal Your December. So that starts tomorrow. So uh, keep an eye out from that. So that's from Ilse and Charlene. Okay, so shape this quickly and put it together. And then we start building on the ornaments, the cards, because then we will have enough to play with you 
You see how easy that is? It's so easy to do. And fun, fun, fun. So turn this around. Give it a little push. A little smaller. Oh, all my brushes here are pointy. I see. I actually have a ball stylus at home as well, of course. But Okay, there we go. Just shape it. So again, the build a wreath and then the uh, poinsettia and the pine cone. And you have so much to play with. And it's super nice to do. Oh, this one I put a little bit of glue on the back here. Yeah, on there. And then I can shape it. In the, I'm just laying it on here and then I can shift it as I put them together. Because this will take a little bit to dry. I'm just putting some glue on now and put them on there. And then I'm going to take my brush and just slide them as I want them to be, like this. Take my brush, and of course this one is a smaller one, and then just kind of fold it like this. And then again, when it's dry, I can even do more, of course, more shaping. So that's that one, and then this one. Press it down. I like the embossing powder on the, on the leaf, I have to say. Or although I have to correct, I, I think I said it earlier, poinsettia has all leaves, only the top ones turn red. So it doesn't have flowers. There we go. And then a little of this. Oh, joking aside, I hope you all better soon. Oh, who's ill? I hope everybody is okay. I know Angelique had surgery on her ankle. I know, Terry, you know, there's people, because we're a big group, so there's, you know, people that are having health issues right now, and I hope you all will be fine. So these ones, so these ones I did um, embossing powder on the side. Not with all of them, but I did with some. Oh, and then, oh, let me put these together. I, well, I actually did put them together already, but you saw that already, how easy this was. So you cut them in dark brown. I cut them in light brown with the tape on the back. You kind of hold them like this, line them up, and then you're ready. You can kind of shape. I don't even need to use a spoon. I can just do it like this. And then you have a shaped pine cone. And then what I did, I rubbed a little bit of that um, gold on there as well. I can just put it on my finger. No, I need to put it on the sheet because otherwise it's uh, too much of a blob here. And then just... And it actually gives a really nice shine to that as well. And I will lift the ones up that's drier because then you can see it better, I think. But just a little bit of the brown here. I have one that's dry. Yeah, here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a really nice shine to it. So uh, that's also the gold here. So those are ready to go. And then I have my, um, yeah, I think I'm good. Oh, if I want to use the green ones here, I add the glitter dots. So that's actually, I, I have added some glitter dots here just for fun. I cut them out of shiny stuff as well. But I use the glitter ones here. So that was taped with uh, card, tape with cardstock. And then I added the um, go-to green in this case. So these are the glitter dots. And again, that's something we don't have in the Netherlands, but in the Netherlands, it's a very common product. And these are really nice because they are red with red glitter with a gold outline. And I just like the accent that it gives. And what is nice as well, with it, which I will do with another one if I have time, because I know I did it in the earlier days. Like if you just do a little swirl with uh, the glitter dots on the ornaments, uh, like that will be really nice as well. And when I've done that, I will post that, of course, on our pages and then for the rest of the week by the way we, uh, we don't have a Facebook live on Wednesday because then I'm uh, before and after the 12 o'clock I am on Hochanda so uh, uh, the second and the third we have uh, Hochanda with the uh, line from Ilse and Charlene and then on the fourth we have another one which is still a secret yeah, you see, this is actually, this is not, I don't like the pearl in there, by the way, but this, this would not be bad. 
I'm going to use the other ones because I only have one like this. But it's actually not bad. But then not with the wild pearl for sure. Okay, so what I'm going to do. And uh, it takes a little while before the, um, before the glue is dry. But of course it dries clear. So as you can see, like for instance here, I had a big blob of glue. But you don't see it anymore because it dried clear. And it's really, it's really sturdy. I was surprised about that because I thought, okay, I'm just going to try. And then uh, we'll see. Okay, I also have the ones with the three, but I'll save those for the card or for the... I'm just going to use the ones that we just made. So I'm doing quite a bit of glue there, you see. And again, when this is completely dry, I can uh, shape it more. Yeah, you see, just stick it on there. And then you'll see, so you see that big blob of white. So again, it takes a while, but it will be completely clear. And then I want to have, I need to make sure that I d that doesn't switch now. Is this already dry enough that I can shape it a bit more? Let me see. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Just kind of bend it a bit. And how cool is it? will this be as a present? I also had real pine cones at home. And I glittered one. And that is actually really nice. But I need to figure out how I can make a hanging thing at the top. Because I had really nice pine cones and I thought, oh, that would be cool to kind of decorate. But I just need to Google or something how I can um, how I can add to that. Okay, so here I have one of those branches. I'm going to add that. And again, I give everything their own, like their own little blob. I'm not going to slide it underneath there. Well, I will, but not in the like not in the glue, because that glue you will not see. You see here? And then I make sure I press it down with my tweezer that it's, and I can shape that again. Here we go. Then I want one that's a little bit shorter. So this one I cut, I cut down a lot. So I cut it down. Um. Oh, the little screw eyes from Tim Holtz, Angelique. Thank you. Is that for a pine cone? So do you use a drill, a little drill, and then um, drill in the top? Or can you just screw it in? Because I need to figure that out. Because that will be... I have really nice pine cones. I also have a huge one from uh, Sequoia National Park. That can even be like a centerpiece for the table. That will actually be nice as well. So you see, so this one I snipped off a bit. Made it shorter. And again, shape it a bit. And of course you can do this. So I'm using these uh, dies now. Of course, the other flowers that we had earlier from uh, Anita, you can use those as well if you make those in red and green. But I just really like the shape. And, and when you see the dye, honestly, but that's, that's, that makes a great designer, I have to say. Because when you see the dye, you see, like, you see those pieces and you think, oh, oh, weird maybe. But it works so well together. So I think that makes a great designer, that you kind of design, that it doesn't need to look perfect, but you know, when you shape it or work with it, it is perfect. It is perfect. Okay, let me use one of these here. Do I do that, make it longer or make it shorter? I'm going to snip off this piece because I don't want it to be too long. You see it, and again, you just, and those glitter dots we have in the, uh, well, we have several colors, but I definitely advise the transparent silver, transparent gold, and the red ones. Again, blob of glue. Oh, don't make a mess else. Here we go. Okay, let's see. Do I, what? Uh, I'm missing a lot of comments. I always, it's for the vintage boxes, so you can see, use it for the pine cone too, I think. Okay, Angelique, yeah, that's a good. Well, I actually thought about maybe I need to drill in the, in the pine cone. But I didn't have time for that yesterday. But uh, I will definitely come back to that. Because I think it is super cool. And I was thinking with the grandkids now. Because my uh, tree has always been very traditional. Actually, I have to say with my own kids. I always say, no, I'm sticking with the with the traditional colors. But now with the grandkids, I think, okay. I would love to have like the, the handmade ornaments in there that they made. I have some like with uh, uh, Hama. Hama. Like a Christmas tree. I just saw it yesterday because I started to kind of pull out my Christmas stuff because I needed that ornament. Okay, one here. And then I want the pine cones on there as well because I really liked it with the other one. Oh, I didn't use this one yet. Let's see what I have in these ones. Ta -ta. I have it with gold or I have it with red. 
But that's a different red color. Do I have, oh, I have a brighter red here. Wait, let's put, let's put this aside for a second because I didn't use this one in there, on the other one. And I cut things out of different green paper or you can color it with the Distress ink, of course. But this one, yeah, I'm going to take with those dots, this is a little bit brighter, so I like that better. So this is just green cardstock, and then for the dots, for the berries, you see, you use that piece, and I just cut it in half, but uh, tape on the back. See, then you can easily put that together. And I post, I shared like a, um, I shared a video from uh, Suzanne as well, on the family page, I think, that she made a really nice, some really nice cards using that. I have some gold in there. Uh, used some really nice, uh, made some really nice projects with these same dies. All right, that's that. And now I know for sure that I want to shorter. So I just... If I want to put that here, now I'm going to put the pine cones on first because I kind of want to slide that underneath there. You see how I'm really surprised how well that kids glue uh, is holding because I really thought, oh, that's going to drip off. But that's not true. Okay, I want a small and a large pine cone. Let's see if I use the same color of brown. I did. Yeah, that's one. I can also do two small ones. Where's my pine cone box? Else. Oh, <laughs> I thought, where are my pine cones? And of course, so this is just dark brown and light brown. But of course, you can also do um, like color it with the uh, distressing. That's what I hear. Oh, wait, let me show you here. I did bring this one. You see, that's from Anita. So she colored the pine cone with distressing. It's really pretty, of course. So mine is like simple, simpler. And that's the builder wreath. So those are the two dies I used. Let me see if I uh, miss stuff. I probably do. And again, if you didn't check out our... Uh, it's okay, I was playing, you have to make a mess. Yeah, jo uh, Joseph, I think this, this looked really nice here right now. You've seen it different here. But right now, you know, and my table is really, really organized, I think. Okay, so this one again, because I made it round a bit. So that really needs a blob. Here. Otherwise not going to hold. I'm going to do the same with this one. Kind of, you know, just shape it a bit with your fingers. Yeah, and I've been playing this. So that's why I wasn't there. Like last week, I've only been there once. Oh, and I talked about Wednesday. That there's no live. But Friday, uh, Esther will be here. Esther will be here with the live. She will also give a little sneak peeky tomorrow night on her badass video. But that will be in Dutch. But um, Esther will be here on Friday with the new, ooh, oh, still sitting there, with the new, um, with the new thing she has. It's only one, it's only one die set and one stamp set, but it's super nice. Okay, so you see, that's how it's coming together. Is that, you know, I can see that already. But honestly, I need to, like, I need to take, see how my uh, really big pine cones look. From a sequoia and then like work with that pine cone. I think that will be pretty as well. So ideas. Ideas. And now I'm going to see where I'm going to put this. But I'm definitely going to trim off the top here. Because that will be too long. So I think uh, I'm going to do at least another one. I need three or, three or five. I'm an uneven number. I need three or five ornaments then. Like four is just not an option for me. Weird, eh? We people have our weird things, don't we? Oh, where am I going to put this one? I can slide it underneath there. Or I can... But then I should put it under there. Or I'm going to put it here. Yeah, I'm going to put it there. And then this side. But I want to have a little bit of that gold on the leaves. So I'm going to put a little bit of shine on the leaves as well. Let's see, I probably should have done it earlier, but you know, just a tiny bit of shine on the leaf here. So 
So James was with us for like a week. He's going home, more than a week, I think. He's going home after the live. We're going to bring him home to Mark. He needs to go home now. But it was fun because we had snow. And this morning there were two deer down, uh, like he was on the balcony, on the deck. <laughs> and the deer were downstairs. And he got crazy. Crazy. Okay. So... Let's put some glow on that one. And again, that, that gold dries very, very quickly. Very quickly. Hoi, Riek. And uh, oh, I see a lot. Julie, Lama, Hermine. Hi, everybody. Ruli, hoi, Els. Here, ook nog even. Oh, okay. Rihanna, is, I think she's working with a new line uh, from Ilse and Charlene. Is that correct? I think that's what I heard from Ilse and Charlene. Yeah, you know. We have so many talented people there. Luckily, you can watch everything back. And all these, all our videos go to YouTube as well. So if you, uh, if you go to YouTube, you will find it as well. Oh, you know, I don't like it. I'm first going to put a, uh, another small, oh, small poinsettia there. I don't like that there. It might be too much. Maybe it's too much. And then don't do it, eh? Then don't do it. And it's lucky with the glue. I can easily... Oh, I like that little... Like, here. Now I have three points set. On the other one, I had two. Oh, I like that. But then is this too much for here? I think it is. You see? It's too much different leaves then. So, take the glue off. And I'm going to put it here. And I'm using that for another project. Because I want to have one more of these in there. Like make three of these. And that's all good. You know. We can always change our minds. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller again. For the small poinsettia. Shape it a bit. I also have another one of these. I want to have that there. Oh yeah. It's kind of, you know, you need to look from the top to balance it out. Kind of how, see how it's, no, I just like this one. Because there's a lot going on already. And um, I saved the other ones for the card then. Or for the gift card envelope. Well, you see, I like that balance. I might have this one shorter here. Let me see. No, I'm going to leave it like this for now. And uh, maybe when everything is dry, I come back to it. But for now, I think that is nice. I have a... Um, I know I did take... Where did I leave that? I know I did take some gold. Uh, well, that's fine. A, a hangy thingy. I know I took it somewhere, but I can't find it. But that's fine, you see? Because I'm going to hang it like this. And now I have two ornaments. Isn't that cool? And of course, if you have another, if you have other colors in your tree, of course, you do different colors. That is fine, of course. But I think that is nice how that turned out. So I'm going to put this here and make sure that it doesn't roll all the way that I, I need to keep it in place. I'm going to put it in here for now. Let's see. If I need a small poinsettia, yell at me that I need to look at. Oh, this is safer because I don't think I need this for now. Because otherwise I, I lose it again. <laughs> I just put this here. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Because that one needs to dry. Uh, so let's see. Let's do that little gift card envelope. So again, I love that envelope. And it's on the sales. It's on the sales as well. So make sure to check that out. And normally, of course, I didn't bring my sidekick. Normally this goes in the sidekick. It has holes here. So I cover the holes. But normally you can put it in your sidekick. I think I need to edge it a bit. Let me get some... So who has the tree up already? Who has the tree up already? I have my decorations out, but not the tree up yet. But that's going to happen, I think, because actually James was sleeping like his place was uh, besides everywhere where he's not supposed to sit. No, <laughs> he's, you know, he has the couch and he has a chair and then he goes and sits in the chair that he's not supposed to sit in. So uh, where his place is with the... With his original seating area, that's where um, that's where the tree is going. Okay, you see, so I, I think this is too gold for here as well. 
I will absolutely use that. I will absolutely change that pearl. But um, so now this one here, you see. So actually, let me show you because this one I used the two that originally go with that. But of course, you can make more layers as well. So with this one, you see, I added an extra uh, an extra one in there. So uh, let's you know that's more for the card, I think, more ornate. Let's see. So again, I'm going to start here with that uh, poinsettia. And you know, with this one, I pushed in with uh, with the end of the brush later to kind of make it like more a center. But I was also thinking to add another color of uh, craft drops there. So again, just be you know that glue because it's and again it's going to dry. Uh, so don't put it exactly in the middle else a little bit offset but how's you see how cool of a gift that will be i think that's just really really fun and let's see how my i'm just going to see if that no no it's a beautiful branch somehow i don't like it here i think because this one doesn't need that much oh the pine cones would have actually been really nice on here as well I have some, oh, this would have, oh, maybe I put it on the other one. Let me um, get back to that in a second. Let's see how many I have here. If I want to have that, maybe just, a, oh, here I have one with embossing powder. But I really like the, just a tiny shine of the, do we have another one that's already done? I'm looking for a lot, oh, this one is already done. So I'm going to add, because this one has a little bit of shine already, this one doesn't. So I'm going to put a little bit of shine on that one. So again, make sure you craft, because those crafts drop like five for $7.95, I think. It's really ridiculous. And I don't know if that's on the Dutch side as well. If not, and we still have them there. I will make sure here I put too much on it. I will make sure it gets to the same price. I will check it after the after the live. Okay, let's see. You can put the ornament in a bowl with rice. Oh, thank you, Yona. That's a very good tip. I'm so I'm so going to do it because I honestly I'm going to make more. Because I really like them. And uh I will take a picture when they're in the tree. When they are in the tree. Okay. I think this. And then just. A, oh, love it. Yeah. I like that a lot. Okay. So let's see if I have one more that's embossed already. Or did I use them all? Oh, here I have a little bit of the shine on there. Oh, that's nice as well. Let's do another one. Let's see if I need to. Oh, I also have the berry branch. The berry branch. That will be nice in there. Just a little bit of the shine. You see now my fingers have glue and gold. And um, I need that sanding block from, uh, well, I call it a sanding block from Tim to clean my hands after this. Hi, okay. Amy says the ornament is so pretty. Thank you. Thank you. And again, easy to do and fun to do. But just, just start cutting, start cutting pieces and then, um, and then just start to create because that's what I really, I, I like this setup that you can just grab it as you need it. That's, let's see if I have berries because that will be nice. Because these berries, yeah, I'm going to put those on there. Do I have one that's already with the red dots? Yeah, but it's a different red cardstock. I need the, um, let me see that if I have enough. Yeah, I do. I need the brighter red for this. Or, oh, I also have one with white. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that's nice. So you use the same berries for uh, for that one. And I'm going to give it a little, very dangerous, touch of the gold. Because I only want a tiny little bit. Oh yeah, that's nice. So very little. And just dab it a bit. So that is just not perfect white. And has a little bit of that same shine on it. That is enough. 
you can hard you can you might not even see it but i i do i do again trim this off a little bit for this one because that will be nice on here it all goes down so what i'm going to do i'm going to do this one first and of course this doesn't need that much glue because it and then i'm going to put this one on there And then I think I might need a little bit of this one so that I have two of these. And it might stick out a bit even. Eh? That's that's okay with this one. And then this one. Oh, I love that. Love that. That's it. Just press it down, make sure it's glued down well. Here you go. How cool is that for a gift card envelope? You see, I think that is just fun to do. And what a great gift that will make for Christmas. You know, it can be a Starbucks card in there, a coffee card, or a gift card for any, uh, any store uh, that people can go and find their own gifts when time is there. You see, oh, I have time for the card. I want to build on the card as well because that is nice. Here, uh, let me try. Because I really like the berry branch. I have an idea. I have an idea. That will be pretty together, I think. So I'm just going to put... I also have a glittered... A glittered bow. Or maybe even two layers. Let's see... Oh, that's actually nice to offset it a bit. Because that bow fits exactly on there. I didn't get to the watercolor yet. I, oh. If I don't get to it, uh, that will just be it next time then. But I did prep some pieces already. Here, I'm just going to offset this a bit. So you see the glitter underneath there. So just a tiny bit, but it absolutely shows. Basically, this should be enough. This would be enough already. Or like just a small poinsettia there. But let me see if I can... I, I, I like this branch so much. So I want to kind of include that. Yeah, that might be nice there. And maybe I add some glossy uh, on there later. But this one I'm going to slide underneath here. So I'm just going to lift this for a second. You see? And then you have another gift card envelope. That one needs a rhinestone, I think. That one and that one can have... I also have grey. I only have this with me. <laughs> of course, I can color the rhinestones. Do I have a correct color here? I'm just going to try one and see how it looks. Uh, green or... Because we have white ones, of course, you know, you can color that with alcohol ink or... Uh, yeah. Green or I only have a, a, a smaller amount of colors here. But now I have a choice. A choice. So you can color those rhinestones with your uh, Copic markers or any alcohol-based marker, of course. Um, you know, I... I I have to say, looking at the screen myself, you know, it just makes me happy. All those Christmas colors there. So nice. Don't, don't cook the rice after. Don't cook the rice after. Now, you can actually do a dedicated uh, a dedicated bowl with rice. Go with five odd numbers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, Terry, you use the kids' glue. The kids' glue is fantastic. Saw so you, James, miss it. Yeah, uh, yeah, Ruli. We will miss him. Because he is really, really nice. And of course, it's not, I have to say, you know, I was, I was kind of uh, talking to you. Because you, you goes out of bed uh, like at... Oh, this is nice, the green one. Because uh, like exactly at 6.30 in the morning, he is um, standing next to our bed and hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. then he wants to go out. <laughs> so, uh, and don't try to change the time. 6.30, he is there. 
And then Yuk goes out. It's dark, so he has one of those headlamps. He goes out with the bear spray, although the bears probably are, are kind of, you know, now uh, they're probably in hiding now. I don't know. But um, goes out and then walks for an hour. So I do uh, one round most of the time. I go, uh, so Yuk does three and I do one. I go with him one time. And that's actually really nice. I really enjoy that. Okay, so you see now that is so nice. Okay, build a card. You know what I would like? Because I want to build that card. But I also want to show you that watercolor, what I did here. Because I actually did it already. Like here, I, that's the glitter. You see? And then I did a little bit of etching. But I will put that together later and uh, show you the watercoloring. What I did here, you see, I took uh, the red. Um, so I colored with the watercolors. And then you take the... Uh, and I will just post a picture and I will do the watercoloring. Absolutely. I think next week somewhere using the stickers. But um, yeah, and just add this, give a little bit of extra color, you see. So that will be really pretty. But uh, then I need to build more on that. So I will do that later. But it's, it's, it's honestly, it dries. And I have to say, because Joseph did that last week. And I did a color on, on glitter first, but um, or earlier. But with Tombows, and it didn't uh, dry. I love my Tombow markers, but it didn't dry. And actually, the watercolors dry really well. So, somehow, you see also this one I had, like I already did for on the Slimline card. I did a little bit of blue, and that's another flower, you see. So, I that card I had last week as well, and I still didn't get it done. But this one, I should be able to build up. So, I'm going to use a centerpiece there. And again, I'm going to put it a little bit from the side and then just build it. And that's uh, so. What this is, this is the the inlay piece from the um, from the butterfly pocket from Ilse and Charlene. Oh, that's not glue, Else. That's gold. That's the gold craft draw. So you get six craft draw, yeah, six colors. Yeah. Still, still somebody fooled me there. But there we go. So uh, again, I'm going to put it on the side a bit. And then, of course, you can put that Merry Christmas, on, like a nice Merry Christmas on here from um, uh, from Suzanne as well. Am I going to use this one with it? It is really ornate, but it's actually not, not bad. It is not bad. But then I want to have a small one, so I don't have the small one anymore. So let me see what I have left that is done already. I have, well, the pine cones are so adorable. So I'm definitely going to do a pine cone. So this is a pine cone with uh, embossing powder. But I really like the ones that I had with the gold paste. So that one, I'm going to put one. Oh, here I have another one. I just need to add the, um, the gold to that one. Oh, I still have some. It should still be okay. So just a tiny little bit of the gold. Again, shape it. And of course, and I still, because I cut a lot of uh, the pine cones, because my idea is still as well, that I want to do a whole wreath with just the pine cones. Maybe some berries in there, but I think that will be really pretty. You see, my hands look like a horrible, horrible. Maybe I need to add to. I, I just like this with the with the um, like with the pine cones combination with the poinsettia is just you know really really nice. Let me see what I have here. I have the glittered ones that I can use here, or I can use the ones that I colored with. Um, oh, I like that better in this case. You see, so I, I still like to add those berries because I really like that. That you have like those glitter dots there. So let me get those. And the reason is why I always I'm short of time. Because I just like doing this so much. I'm going to use a smaller one here. Because there are five or six different sizes on there. Um, I just like what I'm doing so much. That I, you know, then I want to do this and that. And all ideas. This one I see I shaped a little bit. So I'm going to, you see, so this one I did before because I already cut it off and then didn't use it because, you know, I didn't like it where it's supposed to go. That's, and that sometimes happens. And that's fine because then it goes back in the bowl and I can use it again. 
Do you want to have the long one this way or do I just go that way? Wait, let me put this one. Oh, sorry. And here I also have pieces left from this one. Here I can just, because I cut this one off, but then if I stick it here and then the other one goes half over, that's also fine, of course. So I don't want to see the cut line, but then I can just put this leaf kind of that, so that one leaf then covers that cut line. And then press this down. And this one is a bit long. I'm going to, for the wreath itself, I leave the stems on, but like the ends, but when I tuck it under, a lot of times I take it off a bit. Oh, that's pretty, pretty. Now I need a long one of this. Let's see, make it, oh, this one I embossed. Sorry, I need to emboss this a little bit. Emboss it. So I have, Okay, what am I missing? I still see just shall you me. Uh, uh, uh. There are actually, I see something uh, about smaller berries. There are, um, with the, um, oh, with the tree in the line from Suzanne, there are smaller berries. If you're looking for that, I don't know what the talk is about, but. And uh, there is also a berry branch in the flower line, of course. You have that one. You can absolutely use those. Because mix and match, of course. Mix and match. Actually, now I have that with me, that those berries. Let me, uh, let me see if I have some that I can use from there. Now we'll post pictures later. About what we did here. So again, Wednesday it is uh, Hochanda. Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. So Wednesday no live. Uh, but you can watch Hochanda of course. I will put links there. And then uh, on um, Friday Esther will be, will be doing the live. Using that one new set. Oh, oh. Happy. Happy the peppy. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Love that. Okay, let's see, because I did bring the, the, uh, the, my little bucket with the smaller berries. So that's from that die, of course, from... Um, oh, I have some left of these. You see, I have little bags here with all kind of different ones that I created. You see? I also have... Wait, I have this. Yeah, that's beautiful. I don't know what I did here anymore. Oh, this is the gold glitter. I did gold glitter, then colored with, um, that colors nicely. It's only leftover pieces, but it will be enough. Um, I did gold glitter, so tape, white cardstock, cut it out of that. Then the light gold glitter, then I colored the berries with Copics, or permanent marker, any permanent marker, of course. And then I added the transparent glitter, uh, the craft drops, this one. So that's what this is. So let's see. It doesn't need that much. This piece I can use for sure. So, you know, you know, uh, by now, you know, I trim off a lot of uh, pieces. So this one is a little bit of a smaller berry. So, of course, you can use this as well. Maybe it's, you know, I like, I like a lot of times I like those clusters to be a little bit, you know, I'm hiding the. And then one that way. Do I want to have that big one? Or do I want to have it smaller? No, I think that actually... No, I'm going to make it smaller. So you see, that's what I do all the time. I kind of cut and then... Because I like the kind of more compact clusters, I think. If I say that correct. But see, this just can... I'm going to slide that underneath there. Oh, no else. A mess. A me oh, this is... Wait. I'm going to need to trim this as well. That's nice. The Kids' Choice Glue, it, it uh, takes some time to dry. So, especially when you do a little blob. I want to have it smaller both. I want to have it more compact. 
this one and then I'm going to take this one and put it in a different place maybe at the top there let's see now this side and just slide it underneath there oh I think that's nice yeah and then make sure I press it down underneath here and now it's sitting that is it and this, these ones are just safe for another time so I think that's it that's it because it's almost yeah we are oh exactly at an hour wowsies so again like comment and share uh, to make a chance for a $50 gift certificate. I will post pictures later. I might take them here, but otherwise at home. And don't forget to check out the sale. Because that fantastic gift card envelope is on sale. And don't forget, because honestly, this is ridiculous. I think $7.95 for, $7 for six colors. So, and they are fantastic. So, uh, make sure to check those out. It's the last day of the sale. And I'm sure... Um, a, uh, Anna has, has put the link in there uh, one or two times so uh, thank you all I hope yeah, you loved it I may copy this Yona I would love that because that's why we do this to inspire each other and uh, we have you know I get inspired by you all the time because there's so many um, yeah uh, jo uh, Joseph the ornament would look amazing with the wine pochette yet too that will be really pretty that will be really pretty because this is like this is lighter already you see so that's already nice as well so but i don't have white in my tree so i need to kind of get used to the idea of other colors or no color as white is no color so thank you all and uh oh sippy says uh i made cards with the cast with the castera uh sippy we have a family page eh? so the elizabeth craft designs family page and uh, we have the ECD planners and journaling. So you can share your work there. Because you guys make such beautiful stuff. That I sometimes think. What am I going to do? Because you are so talented. So thank you all. And I'll see you um, maybe on Hachanda on Wednesday. And otherwise uh, somewhere next week. Oh and I do Thursday. The, no. Wednesday and Thursday, uh, Charlene and Ilse. And Friday, uh, one more thing. Also, Hochanda. But we will post it all online. So thank you so much. Bye-bye.